If you continue to experience errors after checking that your integration is configured properly and that you are assigning videos correctly, then this video is for you. This video will cover several different troubleshooting steps to ensure your Edpuzzle Schoology integration functions properly. First, if you are using linked classes, it will work just fine with the Edpuzzle integration. However, when you look in the Edpuzzle tab, it will appear that all of your sections and all of your students are in one giant class. Don't worry, their grades will end up in the correct classes and this is not a problem. However, a problem will develop if you select this drop-down menu. This will create a duplicate class on your Edpuzzle account and prevent students from accessing their assignments. To fix this, you need to come to your Edpuzzle account and visit My Classes. You will see two classes that have identical names. One will have your assignments in it, and the other will be empty. The empty class is the duplicate class and needs to be deleted. To do this, select Class Options and delete the class. Now you're all set. Your linked classes should be working properly again. The next error is if your students are completing assignments, but you are not seeing their names show up when you look at the Edpuzzle assignment. For this, there are two fixes. First, go to your assignment and select Edit. Make sure that the Consumer Key and Shared Secret fields are empty. If there is anything in them, erase those fields and then click Save. Make sure to do this for all existing and new assignments and ensure the fields are empty. The names might also not appear due to an incorrect privacy setting. To check this, come to Course Options, select External Tool Providers, and click on Edpuzzle. Make sure your privacy settings show that said name and email username of the user who launches the tool. If this is not what you see, it will likely need to be set by your school or district. The next error will either result in you seeing the message that you're missing consumer credentials or the message, oops, it seems there's a configuration issue. Ask your IT admin for advice. If you are experiencing either of these messages, go to the assignment in question and select edit. Then ensure that the consumer key and shared secret fields are empty. Sometimes your browser's autofill settings may fill these fields in. If this error recurs, we recommend adjusting the autofill settings for Schoology on your browser to solve this problem. If you see this message, it means that you did not edit your assignment to enable grading. Make sure to go back to your assignment, select Edit, and check the box to enable grading. If you or your students are being asked to verify their email, we recommend going back to the configuration of the app and ensuring that Course Admins Only was selected during the initial configuration. If you set up the integration yourself, you can fix this on your own. If your school or district set it up, contact them to address this issue and direct them to our step-by-step -step setup guide for administrators. If you or your students are using Safari on a web browser, a default setting may interfere with their video access. To address this, come to Safari's Preferences, visit the Privacy tab, and ensure that cross-site tracking is not checked. If students are watching assignments on their phones, Ensure that students have the Edpuzzle app downloaded and allow the assignment to redirect them to the Edpuzzle app. If students are using a tablet, they need to watch either on the Schoology app or the Edpuzzle app. Finally, one of the simplest solutions is that occasionally students may receive any one of these errors when trying to access a video. Often, a simple refresh of the entire page will fix this issue and allow students to access the video. We hope this can solve any and all errors you might be experiencing with your Edpuzzle Schoology integration. If you attempt all of these troubleshooting steps and are still having issues, please reach out to us at support at edpuzzle.com 
and we'll be happy to help you get your integration functioning properly.